Alright guys, Tom here and welcome to a new video. This is episode 3 of my universe mode. If we can get tons of likes on this video, that would be absolutely awesome. You guys have been smashing the likes on this universe mode, so continue to do that and I'll continue to pump out the universe mode videos. And today, we're doing the main event of the first Monday Night Raw of this universe mode. It is a rivalry match. I'm going to do a Cena and Jericho rivalry. I think that's going to be insane. It's a false count anywhere match. Let's get right into this. Okay, guys, so here we go. I am going to control John Cena in this match. This one is going to be epic. Now, I've actually finally discovered how to do custom attires. Now, everybody was commenting in the comment section how you put on a custom attire, but I already knew how to do a custom attire. But in universe mode, it's really dodgy because um, I was um, creating all the matches I wanted and... When I was choosing who the participants were going to be in each match, I was selecting the custom attire, then saving it and going on to create the next, the other matches on the match card. And apparently it doesn't work if you do that. And I was doing it right, I was doing it exactly how you guys were saying, but apparently just before you go into the match, you actually have to then go on, you have to go and edit again and select, um... You have to go through the selection stage and choose the superstars again, then choose this custom attire and start the match on the selection screen where you choose who's in the match. It doesn't work if you do it the other way where you save the match and play it at a later date. You can't do that. You have to do it there and then on the character selection screen. For some reason, that's what was going wrong. And that's why I've now got custom attires. Thank God. And it's going to be absolutely awesome. It's a really stupid way of doing it. But hopefully this is going to turn into... A great feud. Now, John Cena is on the attack. Chris Jericho doing the better offense so far. But let's hear, let's hear go. But hopefully the universe mode is now going to be more entertaining. Considering I've now got custom attires. I mean, it's not a biggie. But it makes the game a lot more interesting to watch on YouTube. Um, I, I noticed in the first episode where I was playing with the Usos. And their old attire just made the video really, really boring in my opinion. They had the... The usual orange attire that they never wear anymore. A really outdated attire. And I thought, by God, this video is boring. And a custom attire would make it so much more entertaining. And I even had the Usos custom attire on my game save. But it just didn't import into the game, which was a huge bummer. But now, we have got it sorted. And this is going to be an epic match. I've got 86% so far. 94%. I've brought it back. Am I going to get my signature? Yes, I am. Remember, it's a false count anywhere match. So the referee... Is pretty much going to follow us wherever we go. Oh, here we go. I've got my signature on the floor. Boom. Oh, that is nasty. Pin. Let's go for an early pin. One. Two. Oh, Jericho kicks out. It is on legend mode. So we're going to have to at least hit probably two finishes in this match. Oh, Jericho's going for a weapon. I'm going to go for a weapon then. You little bastard. Oh, God, he's got a bat. Right, we're going to get the, the chair, which works quite well for us in the Shawn Michaels triple threat match, where we actually picked up the WWE title in episode two of the universe mode. I whipped out a chair, and it did me huge favors. So here we go. Oh, no. God's sake, he's got kendo. But no worries. I've hit him with a chair. Let's go again. Boom. Boom. Oh, this is mean. Oh, that is dirty. Right, we're putting that down, and we're going to hit an AA. I mean, it might happen on the chair. Let's have a look if it, it does it on the chair. I think I'm too... It's too hard to put it on the chair. Let, oh, my God. It might be on the chair. No, he's reversed it. Bollocks. Oh, no. That is not good. I was doing so well. I had my finisher, but now he's got a signature. Oh, my God. Oh, I've reversed it. I've reversed the walls of Jericho. Oh, my God. I forget he can do the signature on the outside. It's a false cut anywhere match. Here we go. Second signature of the match. We've now got a finisher as well, which is fantastic. Let's hit this finisher. Come on, come on, come on. This match has gone really quick. Oh my god, we got two finishers. Let's go through the announce table then. Here we go. Here we go. John Cena looks so much better with his new attire. Ugh, brilliant. I mean, everybody that was commenting made me look like a right retard because they thought that I didn't know how to do custom attires, which I do. I've been doing it for ages. It just It's dodgy on universe mode. You have to do it a particular way, which I didn't realize you had to do. Right, I've picked him up. Come on. Irish whip. There we go. Oh my god, the AA! John Cena! Bloody hell! This falls count anywhere main event is epic. 
Uh, boom! Oh my god, that was hilarious. John Cena is absolutely wrecked Chris Jericho here. Right, what should we do? Let's think. Should we go for another AA? Let's go for the other AA. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! On the monitor as well. That is just brutal. Oh my god. Is this match over already? This has been so quick. Let's go for the pin. Can we go for the pin? Let's go for the pin. Pin, pin, pin. Oh, why is he standing up, you twat? Oh, you dick. Sucks sake. Right, clothesline. Let's go for the pin. Quick. Come on. We've already hit two AAs, right? Two. What? He kicks out of two AAs. Are you having a... Are you having a laugh? That is such jokes. I bet he friggin' wins now as well. Oh, God. Right through Michael Cole's legs. That is mean. Oh, bollocks. Look at that woman. She's just bending down. Sexually looking at John Cena in the red. Can you see her? Oh, my God. Through the steel chair steps. That is brutal. Let's go for that clothesline again. I love that move. Oh, my God. His head landed on the monitor as well. Uh, Jesus. What move are we going to do now? Every time I go for that move, he always reverses it. It's ridiculous. Oh, shit. He's got a signature as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're in trouble. Oh, no. We're in trouble. Oh, no. We're in trouble. Ah. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Hurry up. Get out of it. He's got his finisher. Bollocks. We're going to have to wait our signature and our finisher before he gets that whatever he's going to go for. He might go for the code breaker or what. Phew, we got out. Right. Right, we've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We've done the signature. Now we've got our finisher. Come on. We've got not, not got a lot of time left. Charge. We'll go for the charge finisher this time. Oh, my God. Look at John Cena's right foot. It's like bent. Oh, my God. That looks weird. Right, sort it out now. Oh, no. He's reversed me, you twat. Oh, I reversed it. I'm at no, what? I reversed that. Are you having a laugh? Oh, no. Jericho, you cunt. Oh, my God. Dude, I was all over him. That is so not funny. Oh, my God. I got so unlucky at the end. I should have pinned him. I, I hit two finishes, and for some reason, he still escaped. That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, my God. What a code breaker. I swear I reversed it, though. Here is Jericho with the win over John Cena. <sighs> Ridiculous. That's not even funny. We're going to have to do that match again because John Cena just got screwed at the last minute by a freaking code breaker. Oh, my God. The announce table just disappeared. Ugh. How ridiculous. Jericho with a cheap code breaker at the end. John Cena was all over him. I had that in the way. I had that in the I had that in the bag. I swear. Okay guys, so this is the match card for the second Monday Night Raw of my universe mode. Basically, the winner of Seth Rollins against Dolph Ziggler will take on the winner of Brock Lesnar against Cesaro at probably extreme rules for the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Okay, guys, so the winner of Seth Rollins and Dolph Ziggler on the second Monday Night Raw will take on the winner of Lesnar versus Cesaro. And basically, the two winners of these two matches will take on each other, and the winner of that match will be crowned the World Heavyweight Champion at Extreme Rules. The Extreme Rules pay-per-view is three weeks away, and the winner of this match and the winner of this match will take on each other, and one of these guys will be crowned the World Heavyweight Champion. The next match, the winner of this match will become the number one contender for the Undertaker's United States Championship. We're then going to have a rematch between Kane and Kevin Nash because their match was so good on Monday Night Raw last week. And then Chris Jericho and John Cena had an epic main event match last week. So Chris Jericho actually kind of stole the win at the end with the code breaker. So this week they're actually teaming up to take on the new tag team champions, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. That one is going to be a great match. Okay, guys, so we are playing as Dolph Ziggler, as you can see. And the winner of this match, as I said earlier, is going to face the winner of Brock against Cesaro. And then we will crown a World Heavyweight Champion on our Universe mode. Shawn Michaels is the WWE Champion. And then we'll have a World Heavyweight Champion as well, which just broadens 
the things we can do on this universe mode. I was always in disagreement of them unifying the titles on the current WWE products. So in my universe mode, we're going back to basics and we're having the two world championships walking around at the same time. That is things, that's just how things are going to roll on my universe mode. And I think that is going to be a lot better. So Dolph Ziggler versus Rollins. I purposely picked all four really, really entertaining competitors in this sort of like tournament. So Dolph Ziggler, Seth Rollins, they're going to put on a great match tonight. And so are Lesnar and Cesaro. And the winner of them two matches are also going to put on a great match. So I think this is really going to heat things up to kick off the World Heavyweight Championship on my universe mode. Oh, that was mean. I wouldn't really mind if Seth Rollins won here. I mean, I haven't really been a fan of his championship reign on the WWE product at the moment. So I kind of would kind of have to sway towards somebody else being my World Heavyweight Champion. That's why I prefer if Dolph Ziggler wins, hence why I'm controlling him now. But I wouldn't mind if Seth Rollins won this match and became the World Heavyweight Champion. I would just prefer somebody else to win it because this is my universe mode and I think I want it to be different from the WWE TV. Okay, so I'm actually, I'm actually doing better than Dolph Ziggler at the moment. But things can quickly change as we saw in the Jericho and Cena match earlier where I was absolutely dominating. And then as soon as he gets a code breaker, I got absolutely wrecked. Oh no, that was ugly. That was not nice. Oh, nice. We rolled all the way for the second one. Going to the well too often, Seth Rollins. Yeah, yikes. All right, let's pick Rollins up. There we go. What's this move? Yay. Boom. Nice suplex by Dolph Ziggler. Ooh, a kick. What are we going to go for now? Ooh, lovely DDT by Dolph Ziggler. Come at me, Seth Rollins. Come at me. Right, we've actually nearly got our signature, which is awesome. Oh, no, he's reversed me. Nope, too late. Seth Rollins and Dolph Ziggler. What a match to kick off Monday Night Raw for the second week coming. I hope you guys are actually enjoying this universe mode. A lot of people are saying that it's really good, which is always fantastic. And I hope this little kind of tournament we've got going for the World Heavyweight Championship is going to make things really entertaining because I think it will do. Hence why I'm doing it. Ah, no, he's gone for the pin. Nice, we kicked out. I like that pin. It, always, it looks really cool. I don't think I'd be able to do it in real life, though. Ugh. Is that like Seth Rollins' new finisher? It kind of looked like it, didn't it? Just a standard move. Oh, what? I went for my move, then. Right, we only need to do one move and then we got our signature. There we go. Right, I'm not doing that signature because that one takes ages. We're going to go for the DDT. There we go. Boom. Dolph Ziggler's rolling. Let's pick him up. I hope he doesn't reverse it because he probably will. There we go. Oh, no. He's re he has reversed it. Bollocks. Right, we've reversed his finisher as well. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I've got my finisher. Come on. No, I could have gone for the zigzag. Bollocks. Oh, he's going to go for that move again, is he? Or is he going for the top rope? Nope. Right, we rolled out the way. Nope, he reversed us. What a finish. Come on, get up. He's already on 91%. He might get another signature and then we're fucked. No, he has got his silver signature. Bollocks. No. Oh, no. No. He's got his signature. The turnbuckle powerbomb. You twat. What the hell? Oh my god, he's going for the pin. Nice kick out. Come on, we've still got it. Right, I've rolled up the ring. We need to get some stamina back because we're running out. Okay, we've got the stamina back. Fantastic. It's wasted a bit of time. We need to get that stamina up. We're playing dirty, but it's for, it's, it's for a potential match for the World Heavyweight Championship. So, it's all important, really. Both guys have got their finisher. Right. I might go for my charge finisher. I might be cheeky. No. He's 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 he's, he's got up. Come on. Right. I spun him round. The zigzag. The zigzag. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ziggler. Right. Let's put him in the ring. Middle of the ring. Power pin. Come on. This has got to be it. One. Two. 
Three, Dolph Ziggler has booked himself a match at Extreme Rules for the World Heavyweight Championship. How good is that? Nice one, Dolph Ziggler. Could have gone either way at the end there, but Dolph Ziggler comes out with the win. Let's see that winning animation. There we go, Dolph Ziggler with a match for the World Heavyweight Championship. And you could quite easily see Dolph Ziggler being the World Heavyweight Champion. That would be freaking awesome on this universe mode. Lovely stuff. Right, guys, we're now doing the second match. Brock Lesnar against Cesaro. The winner of this takes on, obviously, Dolph Ziggler for the World Heavyweight Championship. I'm playing as Brock Lesnar, if you guys are wondering. Obviously, you are. I love Brock Lesnar, so I think it'd be awesome for him to be the World Heavyweight Champion. And I think a match against Ziggler would be amazing at Extreme Rules. We probably have to add an awesome stipulation for that match, because that one would be extreme for sure. Okay, Cesaro being the World Heavyweight Champion, I have no problems with either. I think it's a win-win situation right here, right now. If I lose, I really don't care. Because if Cesaro has a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship, that'd be friggin' fantastic. What a clothesline by Brock Lesnar. Okay, we're doing three matches on today's Universe Mode. If you guys prefer that format or you'd prefer it to be shorter and only have two matches, then I would like your comments because I have no idea. I mean, you guys might even say you want four matches. Or you might even say you want a full show. Tell me. I'd love to know. What a move. Okay. We should have put Paul Heyman as the manager. We might think about doing that later. I just think having managers on this game can get kind of annoying after a while. If they break up pins all the time, then Brock Lesnar's kind of basically got the win in the bag. Having no manager kind of makes it a little bit better. Oh, I love that move. It's awesome. We might think about bringing Paul Heyman in, or we could have Paul Heyman teamed up with another person, which would be better, because that would be something different. I mean, Paul Heyman with Brock Lesnar, we've seen that on TV before, but if Paul Heyman was with somebody else, so if you guys have a suggestion of who Paul Heyman should team up with in this universe mode, then that would be amazing. I mean, it could even be Cesaro. That would be cool. I can't think of anybody else off the top of my head, but if you guys have an idea, if you've got a burning idea for Paul Heyman's new uh, client, I guess, then to tell me. Oh, I love that move. Right, Brock Lesnar is controlling things at the moment. It's too easy on legendary mode. It's, it's kind of annoying. But that false count anywhere match with Jericho, I had that in the freaking bag, I tell you. And then I got screwed. John Cena got screwed, sorry. Oh, what a suplex. Right. Brock Lesnar picks him up. Here we go. The move again, is it again? No, he's going for another one. Right, we've got we're 99%. Oh, no, we're not. There we go. Right, I think Brock Lesnar's signature, I've made it the just the regular German suplex. Let's. Oh, I haven't got any stamina to do it. I'm going to have to wait for a bit. Right, it's filling it up now. See, let's see. No, he's reversed it, you twat. Oh, he didn't He didn't actually get it, though. Because it was a signature, which is weird. Oh, that pin again. No, no, he's not going for the pin. Right, I'm sick of people stealing my bloody signature. Oh, my God, Luther's press. Not seen that from Cesaro in a while. Ever, maybe. Oh, that is that is mean. What an elbow. Come on, we need to get that signature back. What a bell end for nicking it off me. Right, we're not far off getting it. Or are we? What a move. Oh my god, right across the ring. Right, our stamina keeps running out very quickly. I think it's because Brock Lesnar just has so much muscle. He just tires himself out. That's got to be it. Right, there we go. Oh my god. Let me do my signature, you twat. Right, we're picking him up now. Oh, I've got no stamina. This is just going... Oh, this, 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 this just gets even worse. Right, here we go. Yes, it is. It's a regular German suplex. Oh, that is nasty. Brock Lesnar closing in on a World FOA Championship match against Dolph Ziggler. Let's go for the F5. He hasn't reversed it, I don't think. Lovely. Oh, boom. Nice F5 by Brock Lesnar. Let's go around the other side so he doesn't get the ropes. There we go. One, two, 
No, he kicks us out. Oh, no, that's not good because Cesaro... Cesaro has almost got his signature, so we could be in trouble. Because I am terrible at kicking out. Oh, that boot is disgusting. I think Cesaro's signature is the one where he puts you against the ropes and does the European uppercut. Oh, no, it's this one as well, isn't it? He's got two. No, he's got his fig finisher now. Which is probably the neutralizer. Oh, the oh my god moment. Whatever he fancies. Nice kick out. Lovely. We are in trouble, guys. No, he's got it. He's got it. He's got his finisher. Boom. Cesaro. Cesaro, is he going to go for the pin? Yes, he is. He's gone for the pin. No. Cesaro, that's our second loss. Oh, no, that's not good, is it? Cesaro with the win. So Cesaro faces Ziggler at Extreme Rules. Nice win for Cesaro. Cesaro against Ziggler for the World Heavyweight Championship. Who has a problem with that? That was a great match, though. I hit the F5, but Cesaro kicks out, hits a neutralizer, and gets the bloody win. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this episode of Universe Mode. Subscribe for more Universe Mode videos. Take care. Spike your hair.